My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to reconcile payables and receivables to the GL. A common situation that many GP users find themselves in is an unbalanced accounts payable or accounts receivable amount. This means that the AP or AR balance in General Ledger differs from the total amount that is due on the historical age trial balance report. The Reconcile to GL tool is simply a troubleshooting routine that will help you pinpoint what is causing the imbalance. There are many reasons why something like this may occur. There are a few areas that you should check out before utilizing the Reconcile to GL tool. These include, but are not limited to, the historical age trial balance is printed with restrictions that leave out transactions or include too many. Not all AR or AP accounts are viewed in general ledger and there are unposted batches in general ledger. If you still find an imbalance after looking into these issues, then you are ready to run the Reconcile to GL tool. To utilize this tool, head over to the financial module, navigate to routines, and under the financial section, Reconcile to GL. A new window will open up. Here you have a reconcili reconciliation number and the date and it defaults to today's date. And right here is where you choose the date range. Um, I'm in Fabricam, and today's Fabricam date is 4-12-2017, so I'll simply do a reconciliation on the month prior. Here is where you select the module that you would like to, to do it for. Uh, this session is about payables and receivables, and in a later one we can talk about inventory and bank reconciliation. And then here you choose simply choose an output file, an output location, and I just have it on my desktop right there. And right here in this account section is where you choose the accounts that you would like to reconcile. You must choose all of your accounts payable or accounts receivable accounts. I'm using the payables management for this example, so here you click on the finder and you can sort by description and find your accounts payable accounts if you had more than one. I'll simply just do it on the account 2100. And then after you are all set, you click process. And it will run its process and an Excel spreadsheet will open. As you can see, there are three sections, unmatched transactions, potentially matched transactions, and matched transactions. This unmatched transactions is where you will most likely find the where the imbalance occurs. Potentially matched transactions may, may or may not. And at the bottom right here, you will see the comparison of beginning to ending balances right here, and a calculated difference right here. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.